Next, let's configure Cognito, which is our authentication and authorization service. All right, so I'm back at my Visual Studio code. Now let me clear the screen. Now let's type amplify dash dash help again and see if we find a category. Yeah, this is under authentication, so this should be the category. So let's add that category as well. So I will type amplify auth add and hit enter. Okay, it's again asking series of questions. Do you want to use the default authentication and security configurations? I can accept the default or I can go through a long list of configuration. So it's asking me questions and I have to answer it, right? Or else you can go to the documentation and learn more about it. So in this case, I'm going to accept the default configuration. You guys can try out this one, but for the time sake, I will choose this one. So I accepted the default configuration. So it's immediately configured the Cognito. And finally it asked me, okay, now you can push or publish your changes. So let's do that. So type amplify publish and hit enter. Okay, so it will ask me these things will be deployed. For hosting, there will be any no change because it has already done necessary changes. For authentication, it's going to create it. Yep, I say yes and hit enter. So it will use CloudFormation to create Cognito and it will create the Cognito user pool and it will create the Cognito identity pool. So identity pool is basically handling the authorization part. User pool is basically the list of our users. So we'll give it a second or rather a couple minutes until this is completed and we'll come back to this. All right, so it's completed again and it has spin up our user pool and it created uh, identity pool as well and it has created all the IAM policies related to that, all those good things. And afterwards, it will open up the web application again, but basically you won't see much difference here because most of these things we haven't yet added to our web application. But if we visit our web application, we should see these resources. I will go to AWS and I will select Cognito. Let me change the region to North Virginia. So make sure you pick the region that you have set up in your IAM user because that is the region these services will be deployed to. So I will go to manage user pools and there I should see my newly configured user pool. Now these two I had them earlier so this is the new one. Let me click on this so you can see all the configuration that the default setup has. The password length and etc. Now apart from the user pool it has configured the identity pool so if you click federated identities here you should go to the identity pool section and here it will load the new identity pools I think this is the one that I just created. Now that we have both the user pool and the identity pool so let's configure our front-end application to have the authentication or the sign in sign up page. I will go back to AWS Amplify library documentation. So far we have added the auth and also the hosting so let's follow through their documentation so it says it has created this aws export.js with all the configuration so let's check that now i am in visual studio code inside our source directory yeah like they have said there is an aws export.js file when you click that you can see all the configurations related to our hosting as well as our authentication site. So for hosting you have the bucket name and CloudFront distribution. So this is the CloudFront distribution domain ID or the domain name and then we have the identity pool and the user pool related information. So everything that we do through the CLI it will be automatically be updated. So there's a warning do not edit this file is automatically generated by AWS Amplify. Now, in the documentation it says, since this is a .js file, we have to make it a TS file or TypeScript file so we can export this file into our application and use these services. So in order to do that, 
one thing is we can just take a copy and change the extension or we can use a script to do that so script is very simple so that is this script so they have given it so let's copy the start and build commands and then go to the project you can select package.json file and you can replace the start and default build command with these two I will hit enter here and paste them in and I can simply remove these previous two so instead of just serving the application what it does first is it will take that export.js file and it will move the content to export.ts file and then serve it so basically even for build as well before building the application doing ng build with production tag it will does that conversion .js file to .ts file very simple let me just remove these two and save it okay so that step is done so let's go to the documentation back and here how to use amplify so it says okay in the main.ts file import these things so let's copy these three line of codes and let's go to main.ts file as instructed so there it is and here I will hit enter and paste in the command so first one is basically requiring amplify from AWS amplify library and then it requires the AWS export.ts file so which is in the same level as amplify and afterwards it does this configuration amplify and configure with the configuration file we find in AWS export file that's very simple let me just cut this line and paste it down here so we have a clear separation between our imports and the execution here okay so let's go into the documentation and since we are using angular 6 we have to do one other configuration scroll down further bottom to this file and it says angular 6 support so it has asked us to add this particular line of code in the polyfill.js so let's go to application and I will type command C or control C and type polyfill.ts there's this file you can find it here as well and on top of the file let me just paste in that command all right and what else and also it asked me to copy paste this script code inside the head section of index.html file so let's go into here and we should find the index.html file there and under head tag so this is our head tag let's hit enter and paste in the command so it's basically these three lines of code done right so far so good now that we have done the basic authentication let's think about how can we embed our login and sign up screens there are three basic ways the first one is you can design or develop your own UIs for login sign up forget password all that and simply use authentication API of amplify now if you go into authentication you should see the whole bunch of commands in order to work with your application like starting from the configuration to sign in so these are the commands you should use to sign in right you require auth from a amplify library and then you pass username and password from your custom UI and sign up and you can basically use this so this is very configurable you can design your own UI and do all that things so that's the first way then second way is to use the built-in directives from amplify so in angular we have this particular wrapper AWS amplify angular which is a wrapper around AWS amplify library and this amplify angular library provides you with some view components you can see 
use view components section you have authenticator there you go this is the authenticator so this is a simple directive and once you add it the authentication will be automatically enabled and you can have a photo picker and there are a bunch of things that you can straight away use it and look at this one this is amplify interactions this is basically bot service from AWS well the second method is to use one of these built-in directives and you have a third option as well the third option is to use hosted UI so what is hosted UI basically Cognito has released and hosted UI components now if you go to the authentication side in this particular section you can see using Amazon hosted UI so Amazon hosted UI as it says it provides a customizable user experience via hosted UI so it's basically some sign in sign up windows that is provided by Cognito so in our application we are going to go ahead with hosted UI because it's basically very easy but uh, there was a catch I just saw it uh, during their documentation reading and it says the hosted UI is supporting only for react and web unfortunately our application is angular so there's a, a bit of work we have to do in order to get it up and running but we have hope let's go for it so next we are going to configure Amazon Cognito hosted UI